Good morning, another day and of course another workout. So for my split this week, I'm up in the intensity, 5,000 steps in the morning fasted before breakfast. And then that's gonna be every day, just one day off, which is on the Sunday. My split this week is gonna to be, today is gonna to be arms, so shoulders, biceps and triceps. Tomorrow is gonna to be a heavy leg session. Wednesday is going to be chest and back, focusing more on volume, so hypertrophy, reps increasing. Thursday, complete rest day. And then what I'm gonna do is a push, pull, legs. So it's going to be a six day split, as I usually do at the moment. But enough about what I'm doing, what are you doing? I'm sure a considerable amount. To those of you who have already purchased my Shred for Summer plan, greatly appreciated and thanking you very much. Anyway, enough of being boring. Today's topic is boulder shoulders, how to get 3D delts. What exercises do you need to be doing in order to achieve that? First exercise that I would highly recommend is Reasons why, very simple. A fantastic compound movement. It uses whole body, so you do have to activate core and squeeze glutes in order to take pressure off your lower back and mainly focus on your shoulders. But overall, for an increase in size, I would highly recommend it. Another exercise that I'd recommend is So breaking that down, the shoulder has three heads. It has the front, the middle, and the rear. In order to achieve bolder shoulders, you need to make sure that you are targeting each specific area. So an absolute must is lateral raises. Now you can do this standing, you can do this seated. I've shown you a couple of options there. You can also do this, obviously dumbbell, which I would recommend, but for unilateral work, which again is a must, working one side only, use the cable. Doing these exercises will bring that width to the shoulders and will give you that 3D look. So back to the compounds, you've done your standing barbell press, now I would recommend this. I'm doing this exercise barbell seated. You can also, and I usually would if I had heavy enough dumbbells, is do a dumbbell shoulder press. It is important to note that with the seat position here, some people have the seat completely upright, which is absolutely fine as long as you have enough range of motion and you're able to press from that position, not out in front because if you do that, you just put pressure on your lower back and you're not actually effectively working the area properly. I tend to just move that seat back just a little bit, more focus on the front delt, and it's better for my engagement of the muscle. But it is personal preference and it's entirely up to you. Now to focus on that front portion. The exercise that I'd recommend for this is... So front raises. I tend to at the moment do this on the cable machine. Barbell is just as effective and you can also do unilateral or both at the same time for your front raises seated with dumbbells. 
And lastly, to finish, what a lot of people actually tend to leave out is the rear delts. You can do this on a reverse pec deck fly machine, which if you have the gym, obviously you would use or definitely incorporate that in one of your sessions. But what I tend to do now is go for the dumbbell version, as you can see. And there you have it, it's as simple as that. So to sum up, what I'd ideally suggest for you to do in your shoulder routine is two types of pressing, whether that is standing press, whether that is seated barbell press, whether that is dumbbell press, Arnold press, whichever variations that you decide is best for you. Two different types of lateral raises. And finally, two variations focusing on your rear delts. Oh, hiya, what are you up to? cheeky little monkey. Remember, if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. I will see you, or we will see you, very, very soon.